Hello everyone. I'm speaking to you today during a completely unprecedented moment in time. Today, the International Olympic Committee approved a request from the Japanese Prime Minister Abe Shinsu to postpone the Tokyo 2020 Olympic and Paralympic Games until 2021. Over the last few weeks and months, the global sports calendar has more or less stopped. More and more countries are asking their citizens to stay at home. The effects on this on the athletes community has been profound. Many cannot train properly and many have been denied competing to slow down the spread of the coronavirus. I have been struck at how many athletes have been keen to put the health and the well-being of their communities ahead of their own competitive ambitions. It has been truly awe-inspiring to witness. It's however clear that we have some way to go yet to overcome this horrible virus. The decision to postpone the Tokyo 2020 until 21 has been the right decision for everyone. When the Paralympic Games officially open next year, when we have come out of the other side, it will be an even bigger platform to show the world what can be achieved when the values of courage, determination, inspiration and equality continue to burn bright in the hearts of the para-athletes. I thank the International Paralympic Committee for their support and advocacy for the para-athletes during this time. We will now be awaiting further guidance on what our next steps should be to prepare in the best way for the arrangements. We will communicate with all our stakeholders when we know more. I would like to reassure all athletes and IPSA members that we will continue to work hard to ensure that the Paralympic Games 2021 will be a tremendous success. I'm confident that the Games will still go down in history as one of the best. I want to wish you all the best of health. Take care of yourself and your dear ones. Stay safe. Thank you.